Hi Jolly, and let's pick down your animation. So we've got some really cool smoke here. I think it's really nice. It has a cool white. So the scene I was thinking about here is is quite interesting because I think uh, it's easy to underestimate the importance of basic actions in this character kind of animation. So the way we're taking off the lead will impact the way the smoke will react. And you can easily check, check that at home. So what I mean, if you want to have a snappy timing and a smoke feeling snappy while also making sense, uh, it's important to have a snappy action to have a snappy reaction to. So right now, we're very softly sliding the lead off. What will happen is when we slide off the lead, we release pressure. So to have a lot of pressure, you need to have that pressure build up. So you need to have like a closed space and then you swiftly open it up. You have lots of pressure. Smoke will come in a big batch. It will come out suddenly and you will have uh, a very clear poof moment. But if you're sliding the lead very slowly, there will be a heavy disconnect of the action uh, and reaction. So right now the action is really slow, which will lead off all the pressure and all the steam to the sides. So we won't have a big release of smoke. Uh, and so I feel like the scene that makes me doubt it here is not even the smoke itself, is that uh, the action doesn't connect with the intensity of reaction. Because what actually happens is the smoke goes out, it strikes the lead, and you'll create a downwards flow here because you have redirected all the smoke, all the vapor, rather, this way. So essentially, we've got our pot, we've got our lead, we've taken it off, so the smoke has a place to go. And the vapor rises like this. It rises from the entire surface, and the normal way for it to go if it doesn't have anything, uh, any strong wind or stuff like this, it will kind of curl up and generally gather from the entire surface and go in a way like this. If it has something interrupting the flow, what happens is it goes like this, it hits the top of the paw of the lid uh, and it's being pushed to the sides. So to have a snappy uh, smoke going to the sides, we need to take off the lid faster. And to have a snappy scene going up, we had to take and rotate the lid faster. So we need to take off the lid faster, to rise the lid faster, and we need to remove it faster. So rather than something like this, I imagine it being more of like, mm, I don't know, let's draw. Uh, our our lead. So let's say we have this. This is our lead. Here we have it. So for this point, at this point, I would keep it static, completely static. We are not taking the lead off. Then we start taking it off bit by bit. So maybe a bit, maybe a bit more. Okay, still on. Just a bit. Sliding it. Maybe sliding it a bit more. Sliding it a bit more. At this point, here, maybe a bit later. 
and uh, at this point I would take off the lid because we're taking too long so I would keep this stuff but I would remove this essentially this entire section I would remove it so we're going one two three and then I would remove the wait time I would even remove that and then it will be justified now it's justified because the lead comes off faster uh, it kind of follows the uh, motion a bit more we have more of a way to push it I will start coming it off pushing it off yeah we're taking it off I would still keep like we're seeing the bottom side first and then it slides off entirely and now we'll have a proper transition in perspective And maybe it falls down wherever it should. Again, keeping in mind the ellipses that we have to deal with. Then it hits the flower, the table, and it will bounce a bit, rotate a bit. So this side falls first. Then maybe it bounces back. So we have a different ellipse. A posing pose. And then it kind of settles. Now, I think the intensity of the action matches the intensity of reaction. And I would add a couple frames to the initial burst, but you see it kind of makes more sense. Now, if we were to keep the previous timing, I would make the, small, uh, the smoke way more gradual, way more soft, to match the intensity of action at play so that we don't have such a heavy disconnect between them and that would be the main scene I think because generally the smoke itself is really well animated has a nice timing, has nice uh, contrast, nice shapes so that is pretty cool but again the intensity of the action doesn't reflect the intensity of reaction to have it uh, in terms of the smoke itself, I think the shapes are cool, as I said, and generally it works pretty well. Uh, let's return to this. So, uh, in terms of the forms and shapes, 
this works pretty well. Maybe at the start we can have, I think this is too slow. Again, I cut up a couple of frames there, so it works. But here, the initial part is too slow, too even. This is okay, but we can push the difference between these two shapes. It kind of feels similar and we might want to have something to show that it is in space. It is not a flat uh, on the sides only thing because right now we kind of just put everything at two sides and left the entire area empty. So maybe we can have some indication that it is in fact a volume that is placed in space that reacts to some kind of airflow and stuff. Maybe with a bit stronger difference between left and right compositionally. I have something here, maybe something implying that there is a form in the back. Uh, what else? We can push the contrast between these two shapes. We can push the contrast between these two shapes a bit. Because uh, you see they kind of disconnect and then we're left with a more or less symmetrical shape uh, and placement of particles. So it's important to create an interesting composition at this point, at this point in time. Can keep it as a trail or as a flow, but that's kind of the point here. As for this one, this is okay. We can push the contrast a bit. I would make this more directional to show the energy and then start erasing it a bit more and stretching out the shapes. This will give us contrast. and all that fine stuff. Again, we can delay these two shapes between each other. And for this shape, I think we can try to push it some way. Um, so what I'm reacting to mostly is the fact that it's dividing this in half. Uh, and these things get very repetitive. Pushing the contrast here, already seeing the shape. Stretching this out. Along the volume a bit more, pushing the contrast here in terms of the placement. Here, continuing the the volume through the shape, maybe dividing it less evenly, so not placing it right in the middle. Can either keep that part, and maybe maybe it's either more to the left or more to the right. So that's our choice. So that it doesn't feel like it's right in the middle of this shape, but rather dividing it more unevenly. Maybe leaving some particles instead, so that it doesn't feel like it's just a chunk that's completely separate of everything else. Having particle trails or something like that. And then here we can push the contrast in this area. Uh, maybe simplify some stuff.
and when it dissipates we don't want everything to align uh, and follow the same line especially the straight line because here it's it's the part when the smoke gets more wispy since we only have uh, the wind and the general flow affecting it and the directional energy is way less present due to the nature of the smoke slowing down and the flow not being as extreme so we can have more wispiness we can have more curvy smoke and things like that not forgetting about the general composition and I would suggest simplifying and making the shapes a bit more general at this point suggesting that airflow because what happens is that this is basically so we have rotational momentum here and we have the thing going up the smoke going up the this is kind of an airflow so it's gathering from the entire surface and rising up uh, spiraling a bit usually so that would be my main commentary I think it's still a, a really good animation has really nice flow nice timing and that's just some specifics and of course it will change depending on the style or the intention of the shot because it can be dramatic it can be soft and mundane and this will change the nature or the depiction of the effect in the scene as well as the style of style of course matters a lot and this kind of stuff so that's it wish you good luck with your animation and great job it's really nice to see your animations all the time every time it's really cool so bye bye